All right, so this video is gonna be about how to convert tweed spindles, which is the spindle here on the left, uh, changing out the kingpin to accept a fodril kingpin. They're both inch and a half. However, the uh, fodrils have the ability to change the size of the link pin hole from five eighths to seven eighths. So you can choose which size you can run. With the tweeds, the only option that was available was the five eighths to my knowledge. So tweeds aren't made anymore. And so you can't buy these kingpins. So you need to find an alternative, which I found, figured it out how to do. And that's what this video is gonna be about. So the reason I'm making this video is because I had a set of Woods arms that were seven eighths link pins and I had tweed spindles, which were five eighths. So rather than upgrading the spindles at that time, we had just chosen to run a bushing that went inside that reduced it to five eighths. So we'd sleep, slip it in there and then the bolt would come through and be five eighths for uh, the spindle. So what ended up happening one day is I was off-roading, bottomed out the left front suspension and put all of that energy through my link pin. So it could have probably been a little loose, but in addition to that, just the smaller diameter of the 5 8 link pin ended up shearing the link pin off just like that. So it was either put 5 8 back in or upgrade the spindles. Well, when I was calling around, found out how much a set of Fodril spindles was, and that's pretty much the only option out there right now other than Latest Rage and uh, I believe the Pacific Customs spindles, but if I could use the spindle that I had currently, I think that that would have been a good option. So found out that I could, in fact, change out the kingpin, and that's what I'm going to be doing. So the things you're going to need to be able to do this conversion is the inch and a half kingpin from Fodril. And I got this from one from Cartec. The difference is, so it's an inch and a half diameter, which is the same as the tweeds. However, the holes at the top and the bottom are larger so that you can push in whatever size uh, bushing that you need for your link pins. So in this case, I got the seven eighths and I pressed one in already. You'll also need the two different washer sizes that come with the Fodril king pins. Uh, you have to order these separately. And one's larger or thicker, I guess. And then the other one is thinner. And then you'll also need new link pins. So just for reference, that's the seven eighths inch link pin. And this was my old five eighths inch. So pretty substantial. And then the other thing that you're gonna need as you're taking apart your tweed spindles, you can get rid of the kingpin and then both of the, actually there's three washers on the tweed spindles. There's one on the top and two on the bottom, or I'm sorry, no, there's one on the top, one on the bottom, and then there's one snap ring on the top and two snap rings on the bottom. But as you're taking it out, make sure you save these. These are the O-rings that go underneath the washers that basically seal out the needle bearings that are inside the spindle. So make sure you save these because the Fodril design doesn't have those. And then you're also gonna need two snap rings. For the Fodril spindles, or I'm sorry, for the Fodril kingpins, they only use one snap ring uh, per spindle. And I'll show you why in just a second. So this is a tweed spindle, the way that it came. So their design has the O-ring underneath here that's sitting inside. Then they have a washer, and then they have a larger snap ring that goes on the top. So there's a snap ring um, groove that sits inside this kingpin that, that snaps into. And then on the bottom, there's a washer. Again, there's gonna be an O-ring underneath here that seals out those uh, needle bearings. Then there's a washer and they actually have two snap rings on this. So the difference is with the tweeds, this kingpin is the same diameter from top to bottom. So it's inch and a half all the way. So it can slide through from the bottom up or from top down. And the difference with the fodrils is it has a larger part on the top. And so that actually goes in the top, sits down so you don't actually need a snap ring on the top. This is just going to be a washer and your O-ring. So another thing to keep in mind is uh, what type of tweed spindle you have. If it was one of his older designs or one of his designs right before you went out of business. 
And the difference is the older ones have a bushing in here, a bronze bushing. And then the newer ones had a needle bearing style. So mine have the needle bearing style. If yours don't have the needle bearing and they have the bushing, you can have these uh, pressed in. You just buy them. I think Pacific Customs has them on their website. And then you're just going to um, have those bushings pressed out and then press in some new needle bearings. And then this will work for your design. So the first thing you want to do to be able to get this apart is take out the top snap ring. So you want to get yourself a good set of snap ring pliers. Don't get the little lightweight ones because they'll tend to break. And you'll just go in there. I'm going to take that right off the top. So as it comes out, the first thing that goes on there, you've got their washer. You're not going to reuse this. You can hold it by just in case you need something that, you know, needs a washer that size. And then you're going to take this out the bottom. go so you can see on this side they have this little o-ring and that's preventing any water or anything like that from getting into the needle bearings so hold on to these because you're going to need them for the new one All right, so now it's time to put your kingpin into your spindle and make sure, making sure that the stack is the proper way. So the larger end goes at the, in the top of the spindle like this, and then you're gonna have to stack everything appropriately. Okay, earlier in the video, I said that I used a thick fodder washer and a thin. After measuring the spindle body and the distance between the circlip groove and the large end, I actually determined that you're going to want to use the large or the thick fodder washer and then you're actually going to use one of your old tweed washers and that's going to give you the tightest tolerances that still allow the kingpin to, to spin freely. Uh, if you use the smaller, the thinner fodder washer, it actually uh, gives you a little bit of play going up and down, which is what, something that you don't want. So anyway, this is the way that your stack's going to go. So the first thing you're going to put on is the large fodder washer. It's going to get go against the large end. Behind that, you're going to put the uh, tweed o-ring. All right, you're going to put the kingpin into the spindle. And then you're going to take the fodder or the tweed o-ring put it down in there that's going to seal out any water that gets into the bearing okay and then you're going to take your tweed washer and you can tell it's a tweed washer because it's a little shinier than the fodder ones so this is the fodder and this is the tweed on the side it's a little bit shinier you could tell this one is a little thicker. I measured it out. This one's like 3.1 something millimeters. This one's like 3.6 uh, or something like that. So this is just going to bring it, uh, the tolerances in a little bit more. So you're going to push this one on the other side. And then you're going to push your snap ring on.
So like I said, it's it's a pretty good fit in there. So it takes a little bit of persuading. There we go. So there's really no up and down play, which is what you don't want. Or you want no play, you don't want up and down movement. And it still spins freely enough to where it's not going to bind or anything like that. So there you go. Fodril Kingpin, Fodril Washer, Tweed O-Ring, Tweed O-Ring, Tweed Washer, Circlip. And that's it.